Do you know the difference between understanding the past and shaping the future using data? From decoding your smartphone choices to predicting the weather and many such things. Welcome to Tech Mastery Hub with your guy, Oladeji. Today, let us explore a journey through the fascinating world of data analysis once again. In this video, we will explore five key types of data analytics each tailored to answer specific questions, providing insights into the past and guidance for the future. So, have you ever stood in a store, overwhelmed by the endless smartphone options, wondering which one is the right fit for you? Or maybe you have checked the weather forecast before planning a weekend outing. These everyday decisions are driven by data analytics. Now, let us explore the five primary types of data analytics. I'll call them the fundamental data analytics types, okay? Now, with relatable examples to help you grasp the significance of each of them. Okay, now let's talk about the first one, which is quite common when we're dealing with data analytics, and it is um, descriptive analytics. Descriptive analytics answers that question of what happened. Consider planning a road trip. Before you embark on your adventure, you want to know the best route to your destination. Descriptive analytics in this case, and exploratory analysis and data analysis as we all know it, EDA, are like looking at the past traveler's experiences. By analyzing their routes, road conditions, and the pit stops, you can gain insights into what worked well for others, helping you to make informed decisions about the path you should take. In likewise manner, this is what to use when trying to figure out how sales have been in a business. That is some um, descriptive analytics. Now, if we understand that well enough, let's look at um, diagnostic um, analytics. This typically answers that question, what, uh, this typically answers that question, why did it happen? Now picture this, you've been experiencing frequent headaches and you decided to keep a diary of your activities and diet. After a while, you notice patterns. You tend to get headaches on days when you consume a lot of caffeine. Diagnostics analytics like a doctor examining your symptoms helps identify the root causes of these headaches, just like when your organization needs to figure out why sales drops every January. So the third um, type of um, fundamental data analytics is the predictive data analytics. This simply answers the question, what will happen in the future? When you need to use data to forecast the future sales based on trends. That is when predict analytics comes into play. Imagine planning a weekend camping trip. You check the weather forecast, which predicts sunny weather for your chosen days. Predictive analytics is at work here. Using historical weather data and I'm forecasting techniques to anticipate future condition and guide you your outdoor plans. In a similar way, predictive um, analytics is what you will use to forecast future sales you know, and all such things in an organization. And um, the fourth type of um, analytics is um, what we call the prescriptive. Okay, the third we talked about predictive, which is predicting. The next is um, prescriptive, like prescribing. This answers the question, what should be done? What actions should be taken? Now that, you, that sales in the organization has been found to be declining, what should be done to salvage the situation? This is a descriptive analytics at work. It offers specific recommendations on actions to be taken. Also, let's say you're running a food delivery business. You receive a large number of orders and you're 
overwhelmed on how to you know meet them Prescript, prescriptive um, analytics here steps in to suggest the best delivery routes and schedules to efficiently meet customers demands just like a gps guiding you through traffic for the quickest routes that is pres prescriptive analytics and the fifth one is cognitive analytics this will always answer that question what is the best solution to this problem now consider a scenario where you are driving an electric car cognitive al analytics here combines ai and machine learning to continuously optimize your routes now let's get a difference here prescriptive is answering what should be done it's getting a recommendation right cognitive here is also asking what is the best solution it's quite different because here it's putting to use ai machine learning and all such things you know, to get the best optimized solutions for you battery usage for example in our um, electric car example and the speed the route to take ensuring you reach your destination efficiently it's like having a virtual co-pilot to help you make the best choices so the emphasis here is using intelligent and self-learning systems that is cognitive analytics now while we have looked at these five types of fundamental um, data analytics let's quickly point this out that these are fundamental now we have what we call um, um, specialized data analytics and this is a situation where we are now you know applying data analytics to such areas as um, text analytics um, social media analytics and all such new you know areas like spatial analytics and the rest okay so it's a differentiation from fundamental these are specifically adapted to specific industries that is the difference so here guys those are our five fundamental um, data analysis so guys in conclusion let's look at it summarized this way from serial choices to health concerns to travel plans to business decisions and even the way we navigate the roads data analytics plays a role in shaping our daily lives understanding these five data analytics fundamental types the descriptive the diagnostic the predictive the prescriptive and the cognitive analytics empowers you to harness data effectively in various aspects of life in your journey to data analysis Thank you once again for joining us on this data-driven adventure. This is a um, tech mastery hub where you learn everything that has to do with code crafts. If you found this video enlightening, don't forget to like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe so that you get more timely things as we bring them to you weekly for more insights. Until next time, keep exploring data and making informed decisions in your daily life.